Hello, my apprentices. Welcome to the most nerdy stream on the face of the internet, boys and girls. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, dude, 40 years ago today. One of my favorite Star Wars. This was actually my favorite Star Wars movies. And then Revenge of the Sith came out. So I'm very happy you can all join me here. we got 2,000 people in the chat. That's pretty crazy. Boys and girls, I got my popcorn ready to go. I got my waters. Dude, we're ready. So how this is going to work is, um, unfortunately, I can't show the whole movie. Unfortunately, I can't show the movie in general. So we're going to do the same way we did the Clone Wars. I know you guys are down for that. So... Without further ado, well, actually, before we get started here, thank you so much for joining, I should say. Um, we actually got some super chats before we even began. That's very generous of you guys. Thank you so much. I also want to take this moment before we do begin to announce that there is a new fire hat that I'm making. It's not actually fire, but like it's good. I've um, been working on it for a while with Venomous and uh, Teespring, and it's it's looking pretty good so i'm very excited to release that you guys are going to see it very soon all proceeds go towards everything that i do here on the channel um if you guys want to watch this which i assume you do you're all here for that 3.3 in the chat right on guys let's get on with this i'm really excited what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play the movie and we're gonna we're gonna do this start stopwatch thing like we did with the clone wars we can go through it. I know since this has been out for 40 years, most of us have seen it. If there's anyone who has never seen this movie, type one right now. I'd love to know who you are because um, it's going to be fun. We'll do it with the community, and we can all watch it at the same exact time. So I will maybe show like 10, 20 seconds here and there from the movie from, you know, just to show you where I am because uh, I've seen some other channels do that as well for their watch parties. Without further ado, should we get to super chats now or afterwards? What do you guys, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys think? Okay, let's just get through them really quickly, then we can begin. All right, because I don't want to be rude. Jack Kulos, thank you, bro. Charlie Spur, super pissed that Revenge of the Sith didn't win the RT. Really, it didn't win the retweet poll. That's treason. Then no one is allowed to outspend me. No one. Oh, thank you, Charlie Spur. Lando, thank you, dude. Aiden, what's up, man? Thank you for everything you you're doing here. You should do this for all nine films. Do you guys want this for all nine films? I know we talked about it before, but would you want to do this? We could do this like every Thursday night or every Friday night. We could have something like this where we go through every single Star Wars movie. And then, you know, maybe let's say if we do this next week, we can do episode one. If you're down for that type one, I always thought it would be like lame. You guys are just literally watching my face, but I understand you have your phones up or whatever with me and then you're watching the movie at the same time. So... Yeah, it could work, you know. I hope you guys have your popcorn. I hope you have your, your candy or whatever. Or you're just chilling. Um, you guys are down for that? You guys want to watch THX? George's first movie? Thanks for doing this theory. May the force be with you. Thank you, man. You should download Jedi Fallen Order mods and play them on stream. We can do that after. Read my name again. Spread. I'm not reading the whole thing. Hayden Flynn. Thank you, Travis. Sorry about last time. I have lots of water now. Good. Ready here in the UK. Where are you guys? Is everyone from around the world, I'm assuming? That was the whole point of this thing. So, uh, okay, let, let's do a little fun thing. If you're from North America, type 1. South America, type 2. If you're from Antarctica, type 3. <laughs> Australia, type 4. Um, Europe, type 5. Africa, type 6. Asia, type 7. I'm forgetting one. Oh, that's not good. I think I got them. Right. I think. Maybe. Can't wait for Vader Fan Film 2. My favorite YouTuber out here. Keep up the great content. Keep me sane during the quarantine. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so how it's going to work when you guys do Super Chats, I'm not going to really read them while we're watching the movie because I just want to enjoy it with you guys. And then um, I can read them after and catch up with you guys and we can hang out and talk. Maybe do a little bit of dialogue here and there, but I'll never pause the movie as we're going. We're just going to keep going through. So, with that being said, I think we are ready. I'm going to throw it up on here. So, I got it on this screen here. This screen is going to show the stopwatch. And then, sometime, and then I'll have 
I got this here where, where I'm watching my stupid face. So I've got uh, the chat rolling, and I can see you guys comment and all that. So I've never used the, the iPad like that before, but I think I'm going to start doing it. I think it's a good idea. Without further ado, if you're on Disney Plus or whatever, let's all click play. Okay, I'll, I'll start the timer when we get the Lucasfilm logo. That's when I'm going to start the timer. Okay, you guys ready? Basically, if you're on Disney Plus, whatever, just start it if you're DVD, Blu-ray. Oh, by the way, I bought this. Dude, this thing was like freaking 400 bucks, man, but I am excited to go through it with you guys. And there's tons of behind the scenes stuff, tons of stuff they've added. There's a collectible book. Uh, I have not opened it yet. The, the seal is still on it. So um, I've, I'm stoked, man. Uh, I'm, see, I'm ready to see what it's all about. Maybe there's some extra stuff from, you know, the prequel era, you know, a lot of the commentary. I'm going to go through the whole thing. I even bought a, uh, well, I'll show you guys later, uh, a, a DVD, external hard drive, DVD player. Okay, enough rambling. Three, two, one. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. This is cool. Dude, this is so cool. 5.3K live in chat. What's up, guys? The Empire Strikes Back. It is a dark time for the Rebellion. Although the Death Star has been... I'm not going to be one of those people. i read it all. Again, I'm going to get to Super Chats at the very end. Just so I don't be annoying. I hate people who talk through movies, including myself. So, <laughs> This is fun, dude. It's actually really fun. I've never done anything like this, except for Clone Wars, but this is different. I look like an idiot. Oh, Some good popcorn. We're here now, just so you know. You guys ever thought of having a pet Tauntaun? I remember as a kid, I really wanted, oh wow, I really wanted those binoculars. I don't know why. Just looked really cool.
Apparently, Mark didn't want any animal cruelty, so I think they, if I have the story right, they tricked him when it came to knowing about the, the Wampa getting his arm cut off. I can feel you all watching with me. This is this is cool. This is nuts. I love you guys. Rest in peace, Peter. Han's so sly, dude. So cool. possible. So there's a cool deleted scene where the Empire shows up. And they end up entering a room with a wampa. Do that always... Does hell exist in Star Wars? Because wouldn't that be like a bib biblical reference? So that means Earth must exist in Star Wars.
the sound of silence. <laughs> it's a watch party, man. What can I, what can I do, dude? You're supposed to be watching with me. Right now, you'll be hearing the John Williams theme. This part scared you as a kid? Yeah, I could see that. What part am I on? I'll show you. From time to time. Man, this is seriously one of the best Star Wars movies. If you guys could take home anything from the Empire Strikes Back set, the whole thing, like the whole movie, which prop would you take? I think I'd take the Wampa's arm. 
No, I take Luke's hand. On the outside. Dude, I bet so many people are probably like, man, everyone's watching this guy just not move. <laughs> well, 3,200 of you right now are watching The Empire Strikes Back, so this is pretty cool. I'm really happy to be here with you guys. Seriously, this is very, very cool. It's like you can almost feel everyone just lounging around at home or on their phones or whatever and just... This is, this is a cool feeling. I gotta say, I can feel it. Now imagine when we do all this for episode two, all of us together, a watch party. That'll be cool. What would you rate the Star Wars movies from best to last, in your opinion? I got three, five, six. Three, five, six. One, four, two. Scruffy looking diverter. That's incest. That's incest right there. <laughs> I love that, dude. Yeah, just made out with my sis. Oh yeah. The more I see Leia and Han together, the more I realize how much Adam Driver looks like their child. He really looks a lot like Harrison.
always thought that was kind of funny as a kid. Just like, General Viz. Oh. It's so close. Star Wars Theory dies eating popcorn during live stream. So apparently in Legends, mem members of the Rebellion knew who Anakin Skywalker was because they heard legends of him and how good of a pilot he was. So they would talk to Luke about that. I might be off a little bit on the context, but... Or the details, but the context is the same.
You guys remember Shadows of the Empire? Who here is old enough to remember that game? This level was such a pain in the booty. I always thought AT-ATs were so cool. He did. Guys, thank you so much for the super chats. I'm gonna read them when the movie's done. Um, I don't wanna I don't wanna pause or interrupt, so but thank you so much.
I guess Dak's really dead now. You know what I would like to have seen? As the Falcon takes off, Vader just grabs it with the Force. If Rey and Ahsoka can do it, so can Vader. Maybe it's a little too late for him, though. Yeah. Well. I say he could have done it. I say he could have done it. Maul's ship was taking off. And it, they didn't punch hyperspace yet, so... Right? I think he could have done it.
Hey, it looks like I'm in the movie. I remember an arcade game that was uh, literally this level, but it was it was like the screen that would wrap around you, and uh, the, s the chair would move, and it was cool. You were the gunner in the Falcon during this scene. It was really cool. Did you guys ever see the Legends comic, which I covered, regarding the dark side, um, I guess, Sith that was on Dagobah, that was killed on Dagobah by Minch Yoda? It's really cool. Check it out.
Surprised you didn't kill him right then and there. Anyone who would see Vader without his helmet would die. His stormtroopers, clones, doesn't matter. It's interesting. Lover's Quarrel. That X-Wing, man. Did you know Luke used the S-Foils from that X-Wing for his door um, on his hut in Episode Eight? I don't know how did Yoda get a hunchback in only like 40 years. Not 40 years. What am I saying? 20 something years. I know Yoda was testing Luke, but how crazy and delusional do you think he became after Revenge of the Sith, just hiding away there? I think it was like 22 years or something like that. Him and Obi-Wan aged so much in exile. 
I guess so did Luke. You guys like how they added Ian McDermott's Revenge of the Sith makeup into there, so they reshot that scene? Uh, or do you like the original? Not the original with the monkey, but the original with Ian. This is one of my favorite parts in all of Star Wars. It's just so cozy and tells a good story about patience which is something i need to learn
Betrayal. Qui-Gon. Betrayal. You guys know that scene where Luke hits his head on the, the top of the roof? Uh, apparently that was like 30 takes or something and, and uh, Mark Hamill's head was like really hurting by the end of it. Because the director just kept wanting, to, wanting him to do it. To get it right. You guys having fun? I think this is really cool, man. I, this is... I was skeptical. But this is really... This is fun. I just wish I could show it. You know?
So there was a deleted scene with this. Apparently, oops, sorry. Where Luke was actually training with his lightsaber. And there are pictures of it. It would have been really cool to see that. But there are deleted um, little videos. It's kind of cool how Luke was questioning it, you know. He was like, tell me why. Like, tell me why what? Probably, why can't I use my emotions? Why can't I use my aggression? And when he asks if the dark side is stronger, and Yoda says no, it's quicker, more seductive. What does he mean by quicker? Like, quicker to the power? So in essence, it is more powerful. Is that what he means? It's cool they have snakes on trees. So that was actually a possibility of happening, was Luke putting on Vader's helmet at the end of Return of the Jedi and saying, now I am Vader. But of course, it is, t it is mirroring his fears of becoming...
So that no disintegrations is a fan theory. It's a callback to Boba disintegrating the Lars family. Remember in episode four when they were all burnt? Stormtroopers don't use flamethrowers, typically. So it's like a, a alludes to that. And some of the books and comics, it actually states that Boba did kill them. But that's not confirmed. And it's Legends.
Captain Nita. I love how uh, when Hayden was acting as Anakin, he would often do the hand gestures and do, don't ask me to do that. Remember when he spoke to Padme like that? My man Boba with that sweet. So this was also something genetic, I guess. We all Jedi can see into the future, some of them, but some of them better than others. Anakin's number one ability was being able to see into the future. But the day he lost on Mustafar. He lost that power forever.
him. Do you think they ever wondered if this would blow up the way it did, Star Wars, when they were filming this?
Makes you wonder what would have happened if Leota joined Leia. There's actually a comic about it. It's like a set in an alternate universe. Like a what if. Yo, it's Quillic. It's the Ugnaught. Later goes on to help Mando. Pieces.
Would you forgive Lando ever? If you were Han Solo? I always liked how Vader tested out the carbonite freezing process on Han Solo first before he did it on his son. I always thought it was freaky how they had the carbonate coming out of his mouth, nose, ears, uh, eyes.
Love this music. You know why this one of my favorite Star Wars movies? Not just such a good movie, but because the good guys don't win for once. Every movie always has a super happy ending, but yet this one ends with the bad guys winning. But yet it's still super hopeful. Uh, it's it's amazing.
Huh. The ice cream guy. Dude, I just love how Vader's arm drops there. He's just like, what? Bruh moment, 100%. He's probably just like, can you really just do that? Luke is very strong-minded, man. He cannot be turned.
forgot she kissed him again there. Prepare the boarding party. That's cool. Just like Rogue One. Even after seeing it a hundred times, it still gets me emotional, man. It's, you can just, you know, Luke wants to go with him, but he can't. Not that way.
Man. Makes me emotional, dude. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. That was the first ever, like, full movie watch-along I've ever done in my life. That was really cool. Did you guys like it? I apologize if it was kind of weird. I mean, I can't really show anything. Can't hear anything. But I trust that, you know, we, we kept about 2,300 of you live. Peak. Like, at, at not peak, but just at the, the whole time. That's pretty cool, dude. It's pretty cool watching movies with you guys. Uh, if you would like for me to do this again, type one in the comments. Let me know. Uh, I'd love to do this again, man. You know, I, skeptical, right? Uh, and going into it, you're like, oh, I'm just going to sit there and they're going to hear nothing. But when you realize everyone else is watching and syncing it together all around the world, it's it's a powerful feeling. It's a cool feeling, all of us together, you know. Great community. Uh, I'm really happy to be with you guys on this. Um. There are a ton of super chats, and thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. So that's it for for this um, for this watch along. I'm gonna now answer the super chats. So if you wish to leave, you may do so. Um, the next time this will happen, let's do this next Thursday. You know what? Before you guys leave, let's do this next Thursday. Let's start with episode one. Let's make this a Thursday regular thing. Thursday night movies. Fr why not Friday night? I don't know. Everyone's busy Friday nights. Let's do Thursday night movies. Or we could even do Sunday. I don't know. We can vote on it. We can figure it out. Let's start with episode one, The Phantom Menace, next Thursday, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Same exact thing. And you know what? We'll just do one Star Wars movie every week. And uh, it'll take us nine weeks. Well, eight weeks, I guess, because we won't watch uh, episode five because we just watched it. But, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be good. So, now let's get to the soups. I could talk with you guys. <sighs> Man, that was, that was cool. I had fun with that. Okay. Where do we start here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, before I read them, actually, I want to show you guys something. Something, something that I've wanted to show you for a long time. And um, do you guys remember the first hats that I released on this channel? Check this out. Check this out. So we've been working on um, on this new one coming in, and I'm gonna have exclusive colors and things like that, depending on you know like what happens and um, so. Here's this. It, it, it's coming. It, just, just, just be patient on it. Um, I'm getting my samples in in a, a couple weeks here. I'm hoping, and I, I want to make sure the quality is good uh, before you know I, I release them to everybody. But this is something that I'm gonna have a, a. This one is also going to be a special right here. So it's the red one, and it's gonna be a limited time thing. I'm also going to do. A very, very, very limited one with purple, which I'm not going to show you guys yet, but that that one's going to be, you can probably guess for what, what occasion. Um, there's also a white one as well. But um, if you'd be down for one of those, let me know. Type one in the comments. If you don't like the design, let me know as well. I'd love to change it uh, if you don't like it. But I went with, you know, the original ones were like a, a bigger one, a bigger, bigger uh, image. But I think this one's more clean, it's more sleek, and just looks sharp, looks good. So there's also this variation that I have as well for those who just want like more of a, a dark obsidian style. That's what I call it, obsidian. All right, let's get to the soups because you guys have been so patient and I love you. So here we go. Ah. <sighs> 
My favorite YouTuber out there, keep up the great content. You are keeping me sane during this quarantine. Thanks, dude. Well, you guys, so you guys like the hats? I'm getting the comments now. There's like a 20 second delay. Um, I'd love to do some giveaways for them. So just, you know, just random videos, I guess. I could do some giveaways, give them away for you guys, to you guys. Be cool. Okay. Can't wait for Vader fan film too. Me neither. There is so much information that I'm waiting to just put into a video, and um, I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited about it to to kind of reveal everything and an update on stuff. And, um, you know, I've kept you guys in the dark for some time now. Dude, these sleeves. Look at these sleeves, man. These are like legit. <laughs> Would you review a custom Galaxy's Edge lightsaber if I were to send it to you? Yes, of course. Just email me if you want to send it to me. That's very kind of you. Lord Wicket, thank you, man. Ninja CRK, thank you, Big Brooks. Thank you, bro. Love everything you do for Star Wars and the community. Guys, it's honestly a pleasure to be here with you. It really is. Never thought that this will one day be my career. Like, it's a dream. It's It really is. Uh, and I'd love for everyone to be able to do this as well. Um, not even just for Star Wars, but... Uh, whatever you want. Philip Wall, thank you, man. Thank you for the 20 bucks. That's very generous. Do a Quator playthrough, and it's also 2 a.m. in the UK. So that was two hours ago, so it must be 4 a.m. in the UK. I hope you're still here, Jams. Jams, if you're still here, type 1, dude. Type 1, buddy. Shout out to the UK. Spread says Lameo. Thanks. <laughs> not saying your full name, dude. It's a little inappropriate. But... Hey, man, you're my favorite Star Wars content creator. GG. Thanks, buddy. Uh, anyone who was here last night in the gaming stream... For Call of Duty, it was a seven-hour stream, seven-hour and four-minute stream. It was wild. Shout out to you guys who were all there. If you were, type 66 right now. So I see you. Noah Newman, thank you. 100 pounds. Jesus. Commander Y, that's very, very generous of you. Thank you so much, man. Sup, can't stick around from the UK. Love Star Wars and your channel. Dude, I wish you could, could have stuck around. Um... You know, maybe one of the Thursdays we'll switch it up and we'll do one that's favoring more the, the Eastern and the, the Euro crowd because I want you guys to join in too. Sometimes I do random live streams late at night and then I delete them just for the Euro crowd. So if you guys have seen them, you know all about it. You should get the Despecialized Original Trilogy. I have it. I think I still have my VHS. Yeah. Salty Popcorn is a new member. Thank you. Appreciate that. I know you said that you liked the last movie, but would you accept the entire trilogy canon? Moraz, thank you for the very generous 50 bucks. That's very kind of you. Um, who am I to say something is canon or not canon? But in my head, I don't see it as running along the same story as what we just saw. I just don't. Just got your hoodie with all the Star Wars on liners on it. With... Just got your hoodie with all the one-liners on it. Keep up the good work. Kamara. Thanks, dude. Kamarama. Sorry, I butchered your name. Uh, post a picture and tag me on Insta. If you, if anyone gets my merch, just tag me on Insta, and I would love to repost you guys. It would be an honor. Love your material. Huge fan. Star Wars for life. Thanks, dude. Love the content. Thank you. Hi, Star Wars Theory. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Tiffany. May the Force be with you, too. Thank you for your super chat. Hey, from Australia. Cool. I can't be here the entire time due to class, but I'm checking in as much as I can. May the force be with you. Thanks, Keenan. Kynan. K-Y-N-A-N. Is it Kynan or Keenan? Darth Gary is a new member. Thank you, man. Did you see the photo that Mark Hamill took 40 years ago? I didn't. Let's find it. Let's find that bad boy right now. Oh, wow. That's cool. I might comment the hearts. I suggest you guys execute Order 66 with the hearts on his post. Mark Hamill is honestly such a nice guy, man. I've never met him, but he just, he just seems like a really cool dude. 
Mark Hamill went from having daddy issues as Luke with Vader to causing daddy issues as Ozai inflicting it upon Zuko. How ironic, Palpatine voice. This is so fun. I am so torn between Empire and Sith from my favorite movie. They are both so good. Thank you for all the great content theory. Hey, thank you, Jackson. Dude, all I did was watch a movie today, but I I'm glad you like the other content. Tomorrow's video is going to be pretty interesting, I think. So stay tuned, my man. Um, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Guys, just comment the number below. And then also after that, give me a list of your top from best to least favorite. How are you doing, you old pirate? So good to see you. Always a pleasure, Theory. On behalf of the galaxy, thank you for what you do. Thank you, Lando. You smoothie. This is the coolest thing I've done during quarantine. <laughs> Love your channel, bro. Thanks so much. <laughs> Dude, damn. I don't know if I should be uh, happier or sad about that. Just got done rewatching the Siege of Mandalore arc. My wife hadn't seen it. Lots of tears over Anakin and Ahsoka. The prequels mean so much more now. They really do. They change everything, don't they? Imagine Vader if he said Kawabunga. This is so awesome. Hope you do more of these. Every Thursday now. Thanks, Ashley. This is so fun. Dude, I'm glad you guys like these. Seriously. This is great. Been watching you for about four years. A ton of your videos, especially your Theory IG vids, got me through some long work days. The real fans got your back no matter what. Much love. Dude, thank you. Thank you, man. Separadox TV. TMB, thanks for the 15 bucks. It's very, very generous. Thank you. Love your videos, Theory. Empire is my second favorite, but Revenge of the Sith takes the top spot, my man. What are your thoughts on Yoda vs. Palpatine in the Senate arena? It seemed like they were fighting quickly to avoid death. So... Yeah, I mean, Palpatine beat him, right? And the canon of that is in the movie, where Yoda says, Failed, I have, when he hops into Bail Organa's ship. I think if it was on level ground, it's a bit of a tough match. They were pretty... But Palpatine, in the end, was, was bearing over him, and it explains that in the book. But the reason they kind of separated in the end was only because of, you know mass really it was only because of yoda's weight versus palpatine's weight that was it kylo just kyle luke's hand i love your vids the best thanks roblox brandon thank you so paradox tv says three five six four one two seven nine eight in that order and only because i'm forced to put seven to nine you're not forced to do anything man you could not put seven eight nine if you don't want to adrian alvarez says three five four six rogue one two solo one seven nine eight Okay, so if we're going that route, I, okay, I still got to say my original numbers are, are the same. So let's go 3, 5, 6, 1, 4, 2, uh, 7, oh, no, wait, 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 Rogue One, uh, 7, 9, Solo, and not because I didn't like Solo, but I mean because I just loved the Skywalker saga. I loved Solo. And then uh, 8. Sweet Home Alabama says, no, no, that Benjamin says Sweet Home Alabama. Are you from Alabama? Okay, right on, dude. Never been there. Eating while I'm fasting, JK, it's all good. Eat well, and may Allah bless you. Thank you, Ishmam. Um, yeah, dude, I've gotten fat in this quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Once quarantine's done, dude, I'm going to get back in shape. And that's it. But I can tell, man. Like, I saw my parents the other day, and they're like, your face got fat. What happened? I'm like, well, I don't know. All I do is, like, stream video games and make videos and stay at home. So I got lazy. My personal ranking. But the thing with that is it's always easy to get back in shape. So my personal ranking, 3, 5, 4, 6, 1, 2, Rogue One, Solo, then all the sequels. I don't hate them, but they're, by f they're a far cry from OT and PT. That's true. It's true. Thank you, Kyle. Pretty sure Nuke nailed her. <laughs> what? What? Benjamin? Who? What are you talking about? Kefizzle says Chewbacca could literally be cussing and we wouldn't know. He, he probably is. Mark Hamill said that R2 is cussing the whole time. That's why he's just, he's just bleeps. He's just bleeped out. Lord Ulic Keldroma. May the force be with you. May the force be with you, man. Star Wars rating 5... Five out of three, can't decide. Six, one, nine, four, two, seven, eight. What's your opinion on the 05 Clone Wars cartoon from back in the day? I think it was cool. Do you think that the sequel trilogy 789 follows the hero's journey of Dan Harmon's story circle? I think they do. I don't have an answer. I don't even know. 
Nadia, Nadia Damon, thank you. You're a new member. Appreciate that. Star Wars Collectibles says, Do you think if Anakin would have went with Mace to face the Emperor, he would have not turned to the dark side? Um, well, in an original script, and this is actually was, f I think, filmed or something, because we can see uh, this, this major boo-boo, uh, a blooper in Revenge of the Sith. And you see when Palpatine is fighting Mace that Mace, um, that Palpatine is actually using Anakin's lightsaber in a lot of the scenes. And this is because Anakin was supposed to be there and Anakin threw Palpatine his lightsaber because he was unarmed. So I think he would have turned. Absolutely, I think he would have turned. In fact, the Imperial March plays 42 times. Really? Interesting. They didn't know that. Thank you for the fact. Thanks for the soup. What do you think the new saga is going to be like? I have no idea, man. I hope it's going to be something about the Old Republic or something like that. Damn, this is a good headset. I can hear every little bump. <laughs> when Vader looks up, could he actually see the Falcon? Maybe he just sensed it. Leave. I'll try not to hit the hit the hit the mic. When Vader looks up, could he actually see the Falcon? Maybe he just sensed it leaving through the Force. I'm pretty sure he saw it, man. He was, like, right there. He could have just held it. All I think of R2 being Cleveland now. Oh, geez. Because of Blue Harvest? Battle of Hoth and Rogue Squadron on N64 was legit. Dude, Shadows of the Empire on N64 was also legit. Do you think Luke's pistol is a DL-44? Kind of looked like it, no? Yeah, I think it was, actually. Sean Bond, thank you. Get Tear says the edit is better in my opinion. What edit? Hi, Star Wars Theory says the dog's nose. I love your videos. Sorry I can't stay for long, but I'll rewatch the live stream and movie later. Hope all is well with you. Bye. Thanks, the dog's nose. Yo, bro, love your content. Keep up the good work. Also, please do some more what ifs. You got it, Sully. Nick McCree says, love the vids. May the force be with you. Thanks, Nick. May the force be with you. I love you too, man. Dude, 50 bucks? What the hell, dude? Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. Did you know when Luke says if he even exists on Dagobah, they darken his face and add in the voice line during editing? These are very fun. Thanks, man. I didn't know that. That's cool. I sent $50 and you don't care. I worked for that money. What? What do you, what do you mean? Oh, dude, no. Uh, Nick, I, I wasn't replying during the movie. I made that clear many, many times. I'm sorry if you missed that. How do you become a mod? Nick McCree. Um, geez, Nick. Okay, now I know you're trolling. You sent like 15 more super chats. Mr. Meme says the actors said they knew and George didn't know Star Wars was going to blow up. Yeah, George didn't know. Nick McCree says, please love me. I can't stop watching all of your vids. That's a good problem to have. Thank you. Nick says, I just love the vids and I love Star Wars, so that's why. Nick with another 10 bucks. What I love the man chill nick says one last time with 20 bucks dude you donated like 130 bucks man that's crazy i could have bought a new lightsaber with the money i gave you lol it's true you could have but you went to a good place my pocket thank you <laughs> and 30 percent to youtube gotcha pat says uh sup what's up man what's going on thanks for the two bucks Lindsay mia says nothing she's just a new member thank you Lindsay. What if the carbon freeze failed and Han died? Then the sequels would have never happened. Or at least Ben Solo would have never happened. Leia wouldn't be with Han. And maybe she'd be with Lando. Who knows? Revenge of the Sith. Cough, cough, says Frankie. I incredible. Incredible, says the watch party is lit. Had fun with all you Trekkies. Me too. I love you Trekkies. Blasphemy, they say. Would Vader look for Yoda if he found out that Yoda was training Luke? Uh, I believe they were all searching for them all the time. They just couldn't find them. But there was a, there was a video that I made where Yoda felt Vader. Star Wars Theory, out of curiosity, how many times do you think the I am your father quote is misquoted? I'll remember it like the back of my hand. It's misquoted a lot, and that's the Mandela effect. Everyone thinks that he says, Luke, I am your father. But really, it's no, I am your father. But everyone just says, Luke, I am your father, which is incorrect. What if Vader wasn't Anakin and Obi-Wan had lied to Luke? 
What if Vader wasn't Anakin and Obi Wan had lied to Luke? Hadn't you mean hadn't lied to Luke? Well, originally Vader wasn't Anakin. Uh, Anakin Starkiller was someone else, and Vader was someone else. Yeah, Luke's got major daddy issues. <laughs> yeah, you could say that twice. Seriously, do this for all nine films, even Last Jedi. Hundred percent, I will. That'll be the third time that I watch Last Jedi, and it'll be with you guys. So, the first two times were in theaters. That was it. So I haven't watched it once since it came out. So, that'll actually be interesting. Let's watch Revenge of the Sith. Travis, we shall. All of us on stream. You read my mind. I thought of this hours ago. How glad we see eye to eye on that. How long was Han Solo frozen for? I think it was about a year. I think between episode two and... Th and uh, between episode f uh, five and six. It's a year. Is that right? I don't think it's more than that. Could be months. Did you know that the entire scene of Han Leia kissing in the Falcon was stolen from Gone with the Wind, the book, not the movie? The dialogue is nearly word for word. Really? I did not know this. Thank you, Jay, for your super chat and for the knowledge. Steven says, I'm just finishing the audiobook of the Phantom Menace novelization, getting ready to watch episode one over again after I finish the book. Next week, Watch Party works. Right on. I'm excited. I'm stoked, dude. This is going to be cool. Hey, Theory, can you say something to my good friend Jack? Love you, man. Sure. Hey, Jack. Uh, follow your dreams and don't let anyone say that you can't do something. That's probably my best advice. And uh, if you really want something, I would say just do it. And don't ever stop until you get it. What the hell is Siri talking about? I wasn't looking for anything. You're stupid. Every time I say, hey, Theory, it thinks, hey, Siri. You're the, no, I didn't, I didn't want you to actually activate. That was stupid. Uh, you're the best, Theory. Thank you very much. Thank you, dude. Hey, Theory, what? Again. Again. I'm just not going to say that ever again. Thank you for doing this. Filoni said, kids need hope, and you provide it, man. Thanks, dude. We're all kids at heart. To be honest, we're all just kids that have aged really love your stuff dude look forward to all your vids have you seen the cloud city teaser from the guy who did the scene right yeah yeah i saw it it was like uh the the yeah how do i find your email because i am so down for this legit shaking uh it's star wars theory 66 at gmail.com Thanks, Stone Chronicles. R2 saved the gang like six times just like... Dude, R2 saves everyone. There's a theory that all of Star Wars is taken from R2's perspective. Have you thought of that? And originally, Star Wars was supposed to be uh, um, from this book called The Wills. And it was supposed to be from these sentient beings who were watching Star Wars happen, um, but like on a TV. And it was that's why it stated you know, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Rain Landon Cahow, which makes you think maybe that's what episode nine would or you know seven eight nine would have been about more so the force, which is what George Lucas has said. Landon Cahow is a new member. Thank you, Landon. Lindsay, thanks for the two bucks again. Hi, Tom from the UK. Tom from the UK, that was amazing watching my favorite Star Wars film with you. Had power cuts all night, but didn't cut out through Empire. Dude, that's awesome. The force is strong. Adam says, when Vader said, this facility is crude, but should do to freeze Skywalker. It makes you think the Cloud City carbon freeze chamber is old since the Mandalorian can freeze someone in the Razor Crest. Yeah, it must be, or they just had that technology. I always thought that they were just like, they were u they've were they never really used it before or something, or they they're just, they just constructed it there, then and there, you know? Just to, it wasn't like a proper one. But Nihilus versus Revan, who would win in a fight? I'm gonna, I gotta go with my boy Revan, even though Nihilus eats worlds. Odette, thank you. Appreciate that. JC, thank you. Patrick, hey, Theory, great content, and I love this watch along. Who would win, Kenobi or Ahsoka? 
Okay, chat, help me on this. Type 1 for Ahsoka, type 2 for Kenobi. Two. Darth KSO says 365142 Solo Rogue One. Okay, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I'm torn between 6 and 5, man. They're both very equal for me. Much love from South Africa. Damn, cool. Thanks, Nadia. Camino Theory, check out on Facebook Talk of the Force. I don't have Facebook, but I guess I can check it out, even if you don't have it, right? Talk of the Force. Katie says, what a way to meet your gal's dad at dinner. Poor Han. Could you imagine if they actually sat there and ate dinner? Amazing stream as always. Keep up the great work. My listening three five six four seven one. Oh, my listing three five four six seven three five six four seven one nine two eight. Did you put two that far, really? Not a fan of two, hey. Do you think Disney will redo the saga? No, no. Matt P. Hey, Star Wars Theory. Just bought Master and Apprentice. Can't wait to read it. It's a great book. Keep up the great content. You're the spark that brings fans towards this franchise. I hope to meet you one day and talk Star Wars more. May the Force be with you. Matt, that would be awesome, dude. Hope to see you at Celebration. If it's still happening. If it gets pushed back or something, then, well, I'll still see you there, I guess. My Unless I'm doing something more important, which there's only one thing I could be doing more important. My rank is The Rise of Skywalker, The Last Jedi, The Force Awakens, Revenge of the Sith, ESB, A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones. Fair enough. Fair enough. We have a similar list. Except for The Last Jedi. I'm glad you like it, though. Really. Yeah. Jay the Visionary. Thank you. Omar, thank you. Spicy Meatball, thank you. Odette Andrew says, lived... Love this when, I, love this when I was seven. When I saw a New Hope, Empire Strikes Back at the at ats and the snow speeders were mind blowing to a kid. Watching your vids reminds me of being that kid. Respect, really enjoy your content. Thank you, Odette. I appreciate that. I think it's Odette, right? Honestly, the. The Abeloth needs to be canon. Dude, she's freaky, man. Just want to say I appreciate you've been watching since 10, 100,000 subs, and you've made a lot of my days better. Love you so much, brother. Hey, thank you, Ian the Great. 100,000 subs, man. Time flies, dude. I remember when I hit 100,000, I was, like, freaking out. Yeah. It's interesting. We're coming up on the four-year anniversary, uh, July 31st for the channel so it'll be four years it's funny i made that video july 31st 2016 i think it was and then i forgot about the channel for like three weeks been a big fan for a while you got me back into star wars one question did rex ever figure out anakin was vader in legends there are stories but we don't know in canon yet so i'm excited to, to find out sean shope is a new member thank you man Agent Nitron, please, not eight. I can't bear watching it again. Also, Filoni should be CCO, basically like Feige Creative Control. I agree. Freezy says, off topic, but do you think Luke knew that Snoke was palps? He knew Ray was a palp. Love your stuff, man. Big fan from Saskatchewan. Cool, dude. I think, I don't know, dude. I wish they gave us a little more insight. I mean, Luke did fight Snoke, right? In the comics, he said that Snoke said that Luke messed him up pretty badly, and that's why he was all injured. So, it's weird. Yo, Theory, watch this Star Wars tribute I made. 100% serious. I'll link in chat, but don't show on screen. Stream. Okay, K Fizzle. Thanks, dude. Just thinking about a few years ago, watching all your vids without your face. Here we are now watching ESP with you. Love you, man. Keep up with great work. Interesting how times change, isn't it? Brooks, thank you. What if instead of executing Order 66, Palpatine executed an order for pizza? Then everyone would be having a grand old time, dude. A grand old time. I want you guys to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a very interesting theory that could actually change the sequel trilogy and a lot of the, a lot of the the views of everything, um, because it's just an interesting theory. And it, it was it's not even mine. Someone emailed it to me and gave me the idea, so I gave him full credit. But it's it definitely made me think. MCU Thanos versus Vader. What do you who do you think wins, Vader? 100%. Even if Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet with all the gems, all the stones, Vader would just use the Force to basically freeze him in place so that he can't snap, can't do anything. 
and he'd be rendered useless. He'd freeze him, and then he would just crush his trachea, his windpipe. That's it. Done. Game over. Guys, uh, this was an absolute pleasure. I don't think I've missed any Super Chats. If I have, please email me and let me know, because that would be terrible on my part, and I, I hope I never do that. Um... A New Hope is my favorite, no question. Star Wars shouldn't exist without it. It set the stage for the whole story that followed. I agree. I think... Oh, no, I think that was just a rumor. I don't think that was real. I was going to say, I think uh, George Lucas kept the rights for A New Hope, and that was the only one he kept the rights for, like 100%. But I think that was a rumor. I think I think he sold all of it. I don't know. I don't know. Is Palpatine more powerful than Voldemort? Yes. 100%. Palpatine doesn't need a wand. Empire, Return of the Jedi, New Hope, Revenge of the Sith, Rise of Skywalker, Rogue One, Phantom, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Attack of the Clones. Damn, Attack of the Clones is that far, eh? Potatoes are my favorite. Do you think they're canon? Maybe. Maybe. But only baked. Thursday, Star Wars movie day. Yeah, gonna be good. You didn't say yeah. I just put that in there. Gonna be good, man. Keep up. Keep this up. Hope to meet you one day. Can't wait for your next Vader fan film. May the force be with you, my friend. May the force be with you, me goats. McGoats. Appreciate it, dude. My ranking. Okay, he didn't write the numbers, so I'm going to try to do it really quick. Three, six, five, four, one, two. And I like to pretend that the sequel trilogy is canon, but I kind of still like The Force Awakens. Dude, I love The Force Awakens. It was cool. It was good. Anakin versus Maul. Who wins? I'd say Anakin. But you got to stay tuned for that fanfic because it'd be coming soon, my guy. All right, everyone. Um, I think that's it. We don't have any more Super Chats, so I'm going to call it a night. This was a great first impression for me um, regarding doing these live streams with the movies and stuff. I wish I could show the whole thing and react to it. It would be so cool, but that's not legal. And I'm not worried about the video being monetized so I can make money off it or not. I really don't care about that. I mean, you guys are more than generous with your super chats that's off the table that's not even a concern the concern is getting copyright striked if i would show the whole movie so that's why i don't but i've seen some rather large channels do some watch parties um and they they were showing it so i don't know who knows man who knows so uh, they're showing parts at least so I, I i tried to tread on the side of caution here Colton, thank you, dude. So next Thursday, 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I will put out another live stream where we will watch episode one, The Phantom Menace. I hope you will join me. The prequels have begun, my friends. And together, we will rule the galaxy. All right. I can't end without this. We got to make this tradition. We got to make this tradition, dude. Right here. Right here. All right. It's going to be the new tradition. Look at that green screen. Dude, this is like the dark saber. What the hell? It's really cool. The green screen's really screwing it up. There we go. It's cool. This is a um, master replicas, so this is this is ancient. This is like old school. I don't know if you can read that, but it says Lucasfilm on it. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Anyways, guys, um, oh, we got a few more here. Have a good night, man. Loved your stream. Thank you, Noob Scrub. As long as you don't make money on those movies, yeah, I don't. So, you mean the fan films? Yeah, I, yeah, that's that's already a, a for sure thing. Alrighty. Love you guys. I'm going to go to the gaming channel. I'm going to do a gaming stream tonight, so I hope you'll join me there. Theories Arcade Games. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Love you all. Had an awesome time. It's going to be a new thing, and I can't wait. I can't wait for it. It's going to be good. It's a good thing. May the force be with you, and be safe. See you all.